what I remember most about you is you're what Coach Kelly described to guys as a as a glue guy. You really were a part of our class that everybody gelled with and got along with because who doesn't love the long snapper? But you're also <laughs> the smallest guy in stature that I got to line up next to at any almost any level of football. Uh, what's it like just being out there, kind of being at practice, doing your own thing with the special teams guys, just being a different mold of football player than, you know, obviously a guy like me, it stands out. People know I play football when they look at me. But what was it like for you? Yeah, I, it, it was kind of an interesting experience, and I always laughed about it because I had you lining up next to me. I had Mark Asper. I had Darian Weems. I had all massive human beings lying, lying up next to me on, on field goal. And I was, um, I was smaller than my punter Jackson. I was smaller than Rob Beard. The only kicker that was ever bigger or that was ever smaller than me was Morgan Flint. So pretty funny experience, I guess, just seeing me out there um, amongst all the massive O linemen and, and even my, my punter and kicker being bigger than me, I thought was always pretty funny. So. And you, despite your size, had some of the most awesome highlight reels of any long snapper ever, uh, including, you know, my most memorable or some of the big plays uh, you got to be a part of on PATs where we got to make crazy things up, especially that national championship game. And then uh, when you got to catch the two point conversion against Stanford in 2011, that's one of my favorites. What 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 stands out is your single favorite moment? So I was down in Portland um, and saw Rob Beard uh, a few months back, actually for Tim Taylor's wedding. And the night before the national championship game came up and we had both never really watched the highlights and, and his um, two point conversion came in. That, that'll always be a highlight for me is just the fact that we got to run that in the national championship game. Um, that's one that all that will always stick out. And then obviously my, my two point conversion, um, it, the whole story about that happening is, is a great story because you know, Chip always liked me. Um, he, there's a lot of guys, you know, when interacting with Chip that they thought Chip hated him or didn't have a relationship with him. But it's because he was so focused on his day to day. But he always, you know, in passing, in passing people in the hallways, he knew everyone's name. You know, he made sure to say what's up. But he wasn't going to stroke any guy's egos. And I think I always understood that. Like I was a long snapper. He's not going to like talk to me on a day-to-day basis, but um, it was during a Friday walkthrough. He asked me basically, are you an athlete? And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, yes, I'm an athlete. And he's like, do you have hands? And I was like, yeah, you always see us. Like you always come and mess around with a specialist and you know, I have hands and you've commented on that before. He's like, I know. I just want to see if you're confident enough to do this. And he's like, I have a crazy idea that I want to, that I want to call. Um, and he basically drew it up right then. And I don't know if you were, I don't know if you remember this or if you were there for that, but it was the Washington week, the week before Stanford. Uh Um, and, and so basically he drew it up right then and there. And then, um, you know, we hadn't even talked about it in, in any of Greatwood's meetings. You know, we had how we had those two meetings leading up to leading up to the game each week. Uh Um, and Chip basically came in and said, and drew it up on a napkin and said, I really want to do this. And so we're going to do it. Um, and so we ended up not running it at UW, um, you know, that weekend, but the following week after our first touchdown at Stanford, coach Greatwood just walks up and is like, fuck it. We're running it. <laughs> and I love it. It was just hilarious. I was like, oh shit, this is, this is happening. So, um, yeah, it's just a hilarious story and still can't believe I caught it and still can't believe Paulson threw that perfect of a ball. Man. Crazy, you mo- you mossed it, man. I, I dude, and the best part is I, I didn't have a doubt. I just didn't really know what the hell was going on on that play because, yeah, like you said, Chip had basically drawn it up on a napkin. Um, and in our, you know, we had two meetings a week field goal. And yeah, guys kind of knew what was going on, but there were a couple options to it that I remember. I remember thinking like, okay, does Jeff have it? Oh man, Jeff just got it like very first touchdown of the game. It blew, it blew everyone away and it set the standard for that night. 